So hello there and welcome back to the channel. This is Mel's Gaming here with another Way of the Hunter video. Now this video is going to be a little bit of a compilation of some 5 star trophies that I've recently taken on Nez Perce Valley. Now we're starting off here with a big horn sheep once again in a herd that I have actually had multiple 5 stars from before. Now I've been keeping on top of managing the genetics in this herd hoping that more 5 stars would pop up and when I saw this ram as a 3 star adult I had really high hopes that he should become a 5 star star mature and sure enough after watching him for a while he did indeed become a beautiful five star ram. I will never get tired of seeing the five star mature bighorn in this game. The bighorn just look so incredibly good it is unreal. I am so happy with how these guys are. They're just beautiful beautiful looking models and seeing these five stars they're just absolutely huge. This is what a bighorn should look like and yeah, I just love finding the five stars. They look amazing in the lodge. The detail on the horns is awesome. They're just such, such beautiful animals. And it's really satisfying to see another five star pop up in this herd. It's like carrying on the genetics of the previous rams that I've taken from here before. And that just feels really cool. I love that sense of continuing their genetics. I think that's pretty awesome. Now, as you will have seen, he went down immediately there with a shot from the 300. Now, of course, that is going to cause some meat wastage, but I'm not worried about that. I'm just worried about getting him down as quickly as possible. And you can see here, he's a 94.21% genetic, 5-star mature. Now, he only scores 462.9, so he's barely a 5-star, but a 5-star is a 5-star, and he's heading straight to the trophy lodge. Now, there's going to be a couple of images on screen of a beautiful male pheasant. Now, this pheasant was one that I spotted, and I really thought that this had potential to become a 5-star. When I saw it, it was a 3-star adult. I kept an eye on it, hoping that it would also become a 5-star, similar to that bighorn, as I didn't actually have a 5-star pheasant in-game, and I really wanted to get some for the trophy lodge. Now, I kept an eye on the flock, kept returning to the same spot, and I saw this bird had turned into a three star mature so once again kept coming back kept checking on the flock didn't see him as a four star mature but he did become a five star mature now i was super happy about this because this was the first time i'd sort of monitored a high star potential bird and sort of kept an eye on it to see if it would become a five star which i think is something a little bit trickier to do than with maybe something like a deer just because they are smaller and harder to find so i was really really happy when i saw this actually become a five star because i had the pictures of him when he was a little bit smaller and even though you can't see the size difference or anything between him as a, a three star adult and a five star mature I still think it's pretty cool and just smashing him there to be able to take him out of the eye and I actually got a perk unlocked with that which was eye align so that was a, a pretty cool one to get that perk unlocked with but you can see this guy went down straight away of course from the shot with the cinnamon sky the jack shotgun and just yeah he got absolutely blasted with a ton of pellets there but as you can see Five star mature, 88.47% genetics, so quite low. And because of that, I wasn't expecting him to score particularly high. It does seem like the higher percentage genetics do tend to score higher. Although I have seen lower scoring animals like one star adults, one star matures have weirdly high genetics. But when it comes to five stars, the higher their genetics, it does seem to sort of correlate to the higher scores. So when I saw the score of 468.0, that's about what i would expect maybe a little bit higher i maybe would have expected lower 460s but that's a five star he's going straight to the lodge and i'm super happy with that now actually shortly before that other pheasant actually matured into a five star i was coming back down to this particular area to look for that pheasant and check up on him when this happened i spotted another five star mature pheasant in a different flock and quickly jumped out of the vehicle with the shotgun and took it and as you'll see 99.12 percent on the genetics now with what i was saying before it does seem with the five stars that the higher the genetics the higher the score which like i said it doesn't always seem to work that way but sort of in general so i was hoping that this one might have a pretty high score and when we scroll over to the trophy screen 498 that is my biggest five star of any species I am so happy with that. 
That was insane. And this was completely unexpected. I had no idea this bird was on the map. I had never seen it before. And then it runs out in front of me. Oh, it's a five star. Quickly shoot it and it ends up being a huge five star. That was really cool. So now I have two five star pheasants in my trophy lodge. Now, there was a couple of little ponds and lakes on the map that I still actually hadn't been to to look for need zones. And I ended up going to check one of them and one of the first things I spotted there was a group of mallards and amongst them was a five star mature. Again, a complete utter surprise. I'd never been up to this location before and I come here and it's just a five star waiting. It's absolutely insane. Managed to bring him down with a little bit of a longer shot and it was actually two shots that hit him. Just a few pellets on each but enough to bring it down thankfully as I thought this one might get away. 91.95% genetics but it is a five star mature. Now of course I have lost a uh, hunt rating star because it was two shots instead of one but obviously like I said not too worried about that and he scores 474 so not too bad another one for the trophy lodge and I'm always happy to fill up those small game plaques so yeah really happy with that little surprise now sticking with the theme of small game you'll see a picture on screen of a Ross's goose well I actually ended up finding a three star adult Ross's goose and once again I kept an eye on it as time went by whilst I was actually hunting moose it became a four star mature and it stayed a four star mature for a very very long time and then finally finally became a five star mature now once again like the pheasant this was something i didn't have any trophies of in the trophy lodge and i really was hoping to get some you know to fill up those small plaques like i was mentioning before and i actually do like the bird species in this game they could do with a bit of work and a bit of uh, a bit of polishing i think but I do actually overall really like the birds and they look nice in the trophy lodge. So I really wanted to get some to actually put on the wall. And so finally seeing this five star mature Ross's goose, I was super happy. And you can see absolutely obliterated it with that shot. And there it is, 92.07% genetic potential, trophy rating five star. Once again, super, super happy with this. And it's, again, cooler because I got to watch this one grow up. Now, I would have liked to have seen it from, you know, a younger age. But it's so difficult with birds because you can't really tell until they reach adulthood what kind of quality they're going to be. You know, they don't have antlers or horns or anything that can really give you much indication of their quality until they reach adulthood and you can look at their star rating. So I'm still really, really happy with that and super happy to have a Ross's Goose in the Trophy Lodge. Now, moving on to the whitetail section of this video, my whitetail population has been crazy. As you will see, we have a five star once again on screen, but this was one that I was particularly excited to see. Now, of course, I'm excited every time I see that five star mature rating pop up. However, when I took a closer look at this buck, I was pretty sure that this had the different rack to my other five stars. And I really wanted to find a buck with this rack. So when I saw this, I got very, very excited. Now, I was pretty sure that that shot was good. And you can see he's stumbling there as he's running. And he didn't actually come out past that bush. But just take a look at the antlers on this guy. Absolutely stunning looking buck. And yeah, really, really happy with that shot. Again, using the 308 here. I really like the 308. I'm normally going between the 308 and the 300 and I just like those guns for pretty much everything of course other than birds of which I'm going to be using the shotgun on. But yeah really happy with the 308's performance here. Now I could have used the 300 and it would have brought it down quicker but I opted for the 308 on this one. 92.04% genetics, 5 star whitetail and it does indeed have the different rack to most of my other 5 star whitetail. There's kind of like two Two sort of main frames for whitetail and with one of those main frames there's like kind of two sort of different varieties but they're very very similar there's just one time that's slightly different between the two variations of it but this one looks completely different to sort of the other main frame if that makes any sense and i really like this particular frame i just think it looks super super nice so really happy with that 469 scoring so not particularly huge but Again, I'm not fussed about what the score is. I was just super, super happy to finally get one with that rack. 
Now, moving on to take a look at another five-star whitetail that I ended up finding. This was in a herd literally just opposite the herd where I just shot that other five-star from. This was him as a four-star mature. Now, unfortunately, the clip of me actually shooting this buck as a five-star completely got lost somewhere, but I do thankfully have the harvest screen, which you can see here. Now, an interesting thing to note is I recorded this after opting out from the beta after taking a look at the brown bears, and the harvest screen looks so much sharper. I don't know if somehow the graphical improvements carried over to my main save, but it just looks incredible. It looks so, so nice. So yeah, that might be why this little bit of the video looks sharper than the rest. But you can see he was a 94.89% genetic five-star mature. Now, this is the other rack that I was talking about, like the other main frame. And it's literally between this version and the other version, there is literally sort of one time that bends differently. And we'll actually get to take a look at the other version later. But if I remember during editing, I'll try and put a picture in the, the corner of the screen as well so you can see like the two different versions of this same rack but this rack looks insane it's what i refer to as the spiky rack because it really does look spiky especially when you look at it from the the side profile it's just insane looking really awesome looking bug and i just love the white tail in this game they're so well done now this buck ended up scoring 480 and it is such a shame that I don't actually have the piece of footage of him but at least we do actually get to take a look at the bullet cam and the harvest screen. I really love that that's a, a thing that you can do with animals that you've taxed in the lodge. It really helps in those situations. Now, on another part of the map, I ended up finding a pretty crazy type of white tail that had a five star and several four star matures in it. Now, unfortunately, they could basically see that I was there. And even though I stayed there for a long, long time waiting for a shot opportunity, that buck would give me nothing other than basically going for the back of the neck. And I tried it there, and as you will have seen, it failed. It failed bad, and that was unfortunate. But I managed to track the herd down quite easily by actually following the blood trail from the buck. And as you can see, he's a lot harder hit here. He's really not going to go far. And yeah, he drops right there. He was absolutely smoked with that second shot. It hit him very hard. But once again, this was the rack that I was really hoping to find. And I must say, all of these whitetail kills happened in a very short space of time. So it was uh, kind of crazy. But just taking a look at that first shot, I missed the neck by just a tiny little bit. And that made me feel a little bit better, if anything, that I hadn't missed it by a mile. But, you know, it wasn't enough to kill him. Tracked him down, and thankfully that second shot absolutely nailed him. Now, of course, it was with the 300, so not, you know, anything that we wouldn't expect for him to go down that quickly. But I just do like using the bigger calibers and bringing these big trophy animals down as quickly as possible. Just in case anything was to go wrong, you know, a game crash or anything. The quicker that they're brought down, in my mind, the better I feel. But a 93.28% genetic 5-star whitetail scoring 474, so bigger than the other one. And just absolutely gorgeous. Like I said, this particular frame I just think is such a nice looking buck. Just really, really stunning. And of course, I think that about most of the animal models in this game, I think they're just incredibly well done. But yeah, super happy with that. Now, I actually caught up with that herd later on, and they had actually sort of changed in age once again. And there was another five star mature in this herd. A couple of the four stars I think had died off, but I'm pretty sure this is the same actual herd as the, the herd we just shot that previous five star out of. But as you will have seen, there is another five star mature in here. And that is pretty cool to actually see. Like I said, these harvests weren't all that far apart with all of these five star whitetail. I just seem to have extreme luck with five star whitetail, both on private land that I have access to and public land, because two of these were actually on public land and the rest were then on private land. So pretty crazy luck in that sense. Now, once again, I was pretty happy with this shot. And as you can see, this buck doesn't go very far before he actually drops. He just drops somewhere just in there 
in amongst those trees. Now, this book has sort of the other version of what I refer to as the spiky rack. And like I said, it's basically got one sort of major difference with the time, but it's mostly the same frame. And then it has a little bit of difference sort of in the, the time that's basically the main beam, where the main beam finishes. And like I said, I will try and put some comparison pictures up on screen, but they look different, but they are just very similar. Whereas the other rack just looks completely different. I know, I hope I have made some sense because I feel like I've butchered that explanation but they're very similar there's two that are very similar and the one that's completely different but this one scores a 475 so another really nice white tail buck and another one to go into the trophy lodge now to finish we have a kill that i completely didn't expect now this is a five star mule deer which i've had a fair few five star mule deer now that was actually on a piece of public land where i've been trying to improve the genetics of my mule deer herds However, this buck in particular is something a little bit special. This buck is going to end up being my biggest five-star mule deer in game, and he is an absolute tank of a buck. Now, I actually came across him just a little bit too quickly before he'd actually finished expiring there, so he got up and ran a little bit further, and then I just had to basically just slowly walk up to him, and he did expire in that time. But this buck has the longest times out of any of the five star mule deer I have shot. He just looks so much bigger. And I no noticed that as soon as I saw him on the ground, I just noticed that there was something bigger about this buck. Kind of an interesting uh, shot there, almost going between both lungs. But look at those genetics, 97.2%. And scrolling across to the score, he's a 490 scoring mule deer buck. So by far my highest scoring and by far my biggest. He is absolutely huge. Now I'm just going to show you this one in the lodge because just look at the tines on this thing. They are, are so long. It reminds me of a really big like two, 220s to 230s mule deer in the Hunter Classic. What an amazing looking buck. Now I have this buck on a big plaque sort of at the end of my row of five star mule deers that I've shot as I've been playing this game and he just looks so much bigger. You can just see those tines are just so much taller. What an awesome looking buck. I'm so incredibly happy with this. I would love to see a 500 scoring muley and just see what the differences would be between a 500 and a 490 because this buck just looks so awesome to me and I was super super thrilled when I actually saw just how big he was. But that is going to be it for this video. I really hope you have enjoyed it. Thank you so, so much for watching and for all your support as always. This has been a ton of trophies I've been very excited to share with you all, but I've just been waiting for the, uh, the opportunity to put this video out. So yeah, I really hope you have enjoyed it and thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.